Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Minecraft Feed the Beast Monster tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on Tinker's Construct, so it may well be a two part episode. So consider this episode part 1 of episode 6. Um, I imagine because I enjoy Tinker's Construct so much that this uh, will fly by the time and so I won't get it all covered. Anyway, before I begin, I just want to remind you all of who I am. I do not claim to be any good at any game that I play. In fact, I am a simple idiot, even a fool, but I love playing games and just want to share with you some of the wonderful games that are out there. Consider me a friend that is sharing my enjoyment of playing them with you. There is no right way or wrong way, there is just the fun way. Okay, so let's take a look at Tinker's Construct and see what it can do for us or how it can make our Minecraft lives more enjoyable. So you'll see over here that I've continued using the workbenches because until we got applied energistics, this is the best way for me to show and demonstrate. Now when you start Minecraft uh, Monster or any version of Minecraft that has Tinker's Construct in, in it, I notice with different mod packs you'll see different books appearing. Um, with Monster generally it's open blocks books that you get which is another very good mod which I will be using, we will be using. But anyway, getting back to Tinker's Construct, so you don't start with any of the books. So the first thing you have to do is make the first book, which is Materials and You. It's just a blank pattern, which to make a blank pattern, remember, is just two planks and two sticks. That makes you a blank pattern. And a piece of paper. And remember, to make a piece of paper, you need three sugar canes. Now, as we progress with um, Minecraft Monster and as we progress with using different mods, uh, Tinker's Construct is one, and I love Tinker's Construct. Another one is Mistcraft that I also love, and again, we will need paper for that. So, before I go further with that, let's show you how you can get unlimited sugar cane in the most easiest, simple way. Okay, so moving along to the next work workbench or work table, it is a terrain smasher. Now there's two good uses for a terrain smasher. One is for getting um, obsidian, because you don't need any diamonds to make a terrain smasher. You use the thing main component you use is an in inva oops, what am I doing? The main component that you use is an invar pickaxe. And of course that's only three invar ingots. Which of course, as you know, is simply iron dust and ferrous metal. And so a terrain smasher. So one use is getting obsidian, but the other good use is like this. Plant yourselves sugarcane and then face the uh, terrain smasher so you see this side of it put a chest on the back and away you go just playing Minecraft and doing other things knowing that it is continually just mining sugar canes for us and so we will have plenty of sugar cane unlimited sugar cane it's that simple that's just my way of doing it. No doubt there's hundreds of ways, but that's just the way I enjoy. And there you go, it continually will just farm sugar cane. So I now have unlimited. Right, back to the benches. Sorry, I'm waffling too much. Right, okay, so anyway, that's why you make a terrain smasher. As you can see, we've made previously the piston and the pneumatic servo. These are just two tin ingots and the invar pickaxe, which is simply made like that. Okay, so that's a terrain smasher. That gets us all the paper we could wish for, and we will be using a lot of it. Uh, let's stick that stack in there. 
Okay, so that's the first book, Materials and You. You need to make that in order to see all of the recipes and everything. But we don't stop there, that's only the first book. You will also need to make the next book, which is Materials and You, the same name but part two. And to make that, you just simply put the first Materials and You in the trading window, and then you can craft the second one. You also need the third one, Mighty Smelting. To make the Mighty Smelting, you simply put the second version, part two of the materials of you in a crafting window, and that cre creates Mighty Smelting. So there you are, that's the different uh, three books. There is a free fourth book, and it's a diary. To make the last one of these, you just use Mighty Smelting. So you'll be making two of each of the books to get all of them. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the contents of the books and then we can move on. Okay, so the first book, Table of Contents, here you go. So it basically just shows you the first essential uh, thing, like the blank pattern, that's where you start. Then it shows you the tables, workbenches we'll need. Art crafter, pattern chest, tool station. It shows you then the tool forge. That's the lovely one that we're going to be using. Um, I've no, don't touch the drying rack or that or any of that. Um, may do, but this is the important stuff. We're starting at the beginning. You see, we need to make grout. So to make grout, you can see one clay, one um, sand and one which I could, <coughs> sorry my brain has gone for the moment there. <laughs> you know what, it'd probably be easier to, anyway, so we make a load of grout, which you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you, <clears throat> and then it shows you some of the components and the first book. Um, but as you can see, I showed you a much cheaper way. So there we go. And it does show you though, however, the rest of the books. And there we go, that's the first book. Just press the escape key, gets you out. The second book shows you the tools, materials, and modifiers. So the different tools that you can make, and I've got a feeling this may be in episode two, part two, us making a full set of tools. But as you can see, it gives you all the recipes and all the materials, and we'll refer to it as we go along. Anyway, loads of stuff in there, that's that second book. The third book is showing us um, it's telling us about all the components that we're going to be using to make the um, the structure for Tinker's Contract. So again, it steps you through, shows you the design, shows you the different liquids, etc., etc., etc. There we go. There's the books. Right. Okay. Moving on. So we've got the books made. That's good. Okay. So next thing we need to do is make grout to make grout you just like I say gravel oh that was it see when you're recording your brain my brain anyway especially gets attacked don't know why but it just can go blank for at any moment without any reason so there you are there's grout clay gravel sand make a load of grout pull it in your furnace and that will turn it into um, seared bricks with seared bricks you use them to make parts of the components as you're going to see but you also use four of them to make the the larger seared bricks <laughs> I was going to say is that that's they're both called seared brick well that's seared brick that has an s on the end denoting there is more than one so there we go anyway that's all cleared up now I've made about 18 I roughly think that's what I need but you know what I've got plenty of materials if I'm wrong as I invariably am so moving on Okay, let's skip by that one for now. In here, right, so here's that's more of the components we are gonna need. We are going to need a stencil table, which is just a plank and a blank pattern. We are going, so let's grab that. We are going to need a part builder, which is a blank pattern and a block of, and just an oak wood or any wood you want. So we'll grab one of them. We'll need a pattern chest, which is a pattern and an empty chest. We'll grab one of them. We will need a tool station, 
which is a blank pattern and a crafting table and we will need a tall forge which is a block of iron which of course is iron in every slot in your crafting table that gets you the block of iron some of these uh, seared bricks three of them and a tool station that's why we needed the tool stations so let's grab ourselves a tool forge okay next we need a smeltery controller which is just um, eight of these seared br bricks around the outer edge that gets you the controller smeltery controller next we will need a seared tank <coughs> excuse me sorry a seared tank is just seared bricks around the edge glass in the middle so let's grab one of them and lastly we will need seared glass which is a seared brick in each corner and glass okay let's grab six of them moving on to the next table the last one okay so oops just notice it's dark and while I'm happily waffling to you, a skeleton or a creeper could come along and quite happily blow up my little world. So let's stop that from happening. Okay, the last one. Okay, so next we need a seared faucet, which is just three of them bricks, like so. We'll grab one of them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. We will need a smeltery drain, which is seared bricks, like that. So we'll grab one of them. And lastly we will need a casting table which is seared bricks like that so we'll grab one of them okay so that's all the components we need let's go make ourselves a tinker's construct furnace okay now you can do a minimum size of um two by two that's the minimum size uh, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't tested, no, yeah, I'm guessing that's the minimum size. I'm going to do a 3x3, three three, and I'll do it two away from each, each edge, so let's place it just here. So what I do, mine out 3x3, three three. then I will use my seared bricks, put them in. Okay, I will put them there and I'm just trying to decide where to put the different components. Um, let's see, so we'll put the drain there. Oh. It'll help if I select the drain, of course. So we'll put the drain there. And on the drain, we put the faucet. And next to that, and sorry, I'm trying to work this out in my head. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Okay, seared glass, we will put Oh, I think I need to engage my brain first. Okay, they were in the wrong place. Obviously, that needs to go. Let's put the seared glass down. I'm always like this when I'm building one. Make many mistakes doing it, but get there in the end. Okay, so that's the seared glass. Now that's going to look. Now, over here, what we will want is the controller. But I'll want it, I think I'll pull it on the second level. There. Over this side, we can put the seared tank. So we'll put the seared tank in the corner. And oh, I'm doing it again. Can't believe it. Okay, so that there, that controller there. Okay, so that I want to move. At least it shows you you can break it all up and replace it. 
so it's not a major issue okay oh and i definitely haven't got enough of them seared bricks anyway so let's see next we want the drain so we'll put the drain there in fact no we won't we'll put that there and put the drain as the next one up then we will put the faucet on it shows you when you have a break how well, how much you forget so we'll put the faucet on and now of course we can put the casting table underneath that there we go that's better that looks good right okay so i'm going to need how many more bricks i'm going to need another one two three four five six so let's go make them so that's 20 24 in total well at least i know now so when I forget how to do this, I can come back, refer to what I've done and remind myself what I need. OK, let's go put them in. It would appear I get good days and bad days for recording. Whether this is a good day or a bad day, I'm not sure, but I've made enough uh, mistakes so far. Anyway. Let's not forget to put a torch up because we don't want mobs spawning. Right, how do we know if we've done this correctly? Well, if we have, the smeltery controller will get flames appearing in it. So, just to show you that again, if we take out one of the bricks. Okay, it's not going to stop. Um, but anyway, when you place the last part, then suddenly your controller, your smeltery controller, if you right click on it, you'll see you can you see the contents of your smeltery. But more importantly, you know you've got it correctly done because you'll see these flames coming out of here. Right, okay, so that's our controller. Now, how is it powered? It's powered with lava. That's why we use the seared tank. Now, as you can see it's empty so what we need to do is fill up the seared tank so let's do that coming back down here to these chests if we go in here you will see that i have a hardened portable tank so to do make this you first need to make a portable tank which is four glass surrounding copper ingot then you can make the, that gets you the portable tank then you can make the hardened tank which is the one I like because it can carry that much fluid to make that you use your portable tank surrounded by invar ingots again I always make invar over leadstone because it does so much better so we'll grab that now we're going to use it with our bucket but we also need our crescent hammer as you're going to see Right, let's go play with some lava and hopefully not get burned and hopefully not get blown up by a creeper and hopefully not jump by a skeleton with a load of arrows or any of the many other ways that we can die which I seem to do quite a lot. Anyway, so here's some lava. How handy is that? Right, let's grab, first of all, let's place down our hardened portable tank. We'll pull it away from the lava. Now we will grab our bucket, we will scoop up some lava, right click it on the tank and you can see it's putting it in there. So let's grab ourselves and fill it up with lava. I do love playing with lava, I mean how weird is that? Eh? Most people would like to stay away from it. Whereas I actually enjoy using it as a resource for as much as I can. See, it can fit a load. And I'll tell you now that this amount of lava we're getting in this one trip will do us for all the stuff we wish to make in Tinker's Construct. Okay, so basically it equates to, as you can see, 16 buckets. One more. There we go. Right, now what we'll do, we will grab our lava tank. 
we will put it where the bucket is. Let's go back and ignite our smeltery. I like to keep that shut in case anything comes wandering up here. That wants a piece of me. I'm not pre prepared to share any of me today. Right, okay, so let's now do this. Okay, so we have our hardened portable tank. What we'll do is we will fix it to the side. We will then use our crescent hammer spanner. Oh, okay. Shows you I've had too much of a break because I believe we need to use a pipe. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a pipe. I will just double check that by trying it on the top and use the crescent hammer to put it to output mode. Oh no, there we go. Cool. Right, so there we go. We now have a working smeltery. I just love, I love the way you can manipulate liquids and power and fuel and just, I just love this all with Minecraft. It's like a giant Meccano set and it's all there for us to tinker with. Okay, if we right click here, you can see in here now, we've got the fuel. So, right, the timer's not gone, which is good. So let's commence with making ourselves some fantastic tools. It's all well and good having Peridot, but you can't beat the Tinker's tools. So first of all, though, we will need to make, um, to place down our stencil table. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's use the sleeping bag quickly. I'd hate to see it all blown up by a creeper already. Okay, let's quickly put that back on. Right, so let's place our stencil table. I don't want to place it in my way, so let's place it just here. I want it near to the tinkers, the smeltery. Okay, next we place our art builder. There. We'll put our chest, pattern chest behind it. Then we will place our tool forge. Okay, so for the uh, stencil table, this is what we use for our patterns. What we need to do is put stencils into it. So let's grab some stencils. Okay, let's make, um, how many do we want to make? I don't want to waste anything. Let's make six. Oh. That should be enough for now. Until we get our wood, until we start to automate, we're short of a load of materials, wood being the main one. So we'll put the stencil in there, and you can see once you put the blank patterns into that side of the stencil table, it then you can cycle through the different patterns. Now, what we're going to need to do, of course, is make all of the uh, templates for the different tools. So what I need to do, first of all, is find out exactly what ones that I want to make. Now, the part builder, we will obviously, we need to put in the materials in here that we're going to be using. If we can jump to this last table. Right, now what we're going to be making is a hammer because notice it does a 3 by 3 area effect when, um, when we're mining. So it's for mining and we will use um, a, a, a lumite for that so we can mine uh, up to level four, which includes diamonds, and um, basically it allows us when we get to the nether to get ourselves the precious metals. Okay, so we're going to make a hammer, we're going to make an excavator. Again, it does a three by three area of effect, so we can plow through the, the earth. 
we are also going to make a single pickaxe because it's all well and good doing three by threes but sometimes you want to do a single tile so therefore we will also do a nice shovel as well we will also do a weapon so the reason i've gone over all of this is just to check what we'll be needing so you'll see here we will need a um, one of the large crossbars large tall bar we're going to need small of both of them as well and a pickaxe head so okay what we're going to need to do first is make all of the patterns that we need so pickaxe head we're going to need so you just click and grab that shovel head we're going to need axe head now is that the right axe head for the axe we want to make which is this one the lumber axe because it's going to fell whole trees for us which is beautiful and yet it's just the axe head so we will want one of them sword blade not yet i'm just going to stick to the ones we need tool binding we are wide board we're not knife blade no chisel is good we need one of them we're doing all sorts of different blocks we'll need one of them that's it it's called tough binding okay we'll need a large plate uh, I'll get a broad axe because I'm sure we're going to need that. Uh, excavate a head. And a hammer head. Right. I think that's it for now. Sure, we're going to be making a load of other stuff, but for now, that's good enough. So we need one of them as well right okay I think that's now all of what we need right so we have our patterns so what we do we can now put them all in the pattern chest like so now when we right click the part builder and we can now slot these items in so if we use we're going to use cobblestone obviously to start with that gets us the first one notice it's only going to use half we're going to get back uh, half our cobblestone so a stone shard so let's grab the stone rod okay so that's that one done next one we'll need is the small small cross binding tall binding which is that one and I believe, yeah, there you go. We can do that with just half. Okay, so next let's make, oops, let's put that down there. Next, let's make the pickaxe head. Put that there. Next, let's make the shovel head. down there a tough tool binding why not see if there's one thing we got plenty of it is cobblestone which is a good job because we'll be needing it right okay so that's that let's do the large plate put that there tough tool rod there excavator head oh I do love all these tools we're making and you're gonna so see why broad axe head hammer head and the last one this one oh there's the timer so right okay so we've got all of these now 
I know the time has gone, it's all right, I'm gonna wrap up very shortly. Just want to explain why we've done all of that. Okay, now what we can do is, in the next episode, we will start smelting up the ores. In fact, let's quickly drop them in so I can show you. Now, what we're gonna need is, first of all, we'll need to refer, in fact, no, because I can go on for another half an hour quite easily. I'm so happy playing Minecraft that if I forget now, I'm gonna go on for another three hours. Um, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. In the next um, part to this episode, we will make all of our tools and smelt a load of ores. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.